Greetings from the Soul Life Network. Ecstasy is our very nature. Not to be ecstatic is simply unnecessary. Osho. The simple secrets to spiritual enlightenment. The reason there are not more spiritually awakened beings on the planet today is because people have forgotten how to relax, trust and enjoy their natural connection to Source. The most important direction we need to turn for answers is inside ourselves. The outer world will captivate us, and invite us to experience all its tantalizing joys and sorrows. Yet, the most radical and enlightening path to liberation is not one that falls prey to being addicted to the outer world for fulfillment, yet discovers it easily and effortlessly within. The mind is often very blind to the fact that it's the incessant searching that causes us not to see. Whenever we are not getting what we want, it's because we are in a state of wanting, needing or demanding and not coming from a place of allowing, accepting or receiving. As long as we continue directing our attention only towards the outer world, wanting this and craving that, we will be forced to retreat inside ourselves to reboot. Our bodies are designed to remain in a state of balance and healing naturally. It's the incessant stressful egoic efforting of the mind and attachment to our egoic desires which causes us to struggle, suffer, and eventually die in pain instead of having a generally calm-centered spiritual existence. If we want to experience enlightenment and fulfilling life, there must be unconscious awareness in each moment of where we are focusing our attention. We must get deeply curious every hour of our lives if we are bathing in the light of our being, fully aligned with our connection to that which brings us the deepest resource of joy, love, peace and bliss. This spiritual enlightened state contains this healing feeling of a sweet surrender and full acceptance to the grand totality of life. It is in the relaxation into this profound truth that we realize our true infinite spiritual nature, and become super powerful manifesting magnets that effortlessly attract anything and everything our heart desires. One of the greatest truths I've found on the path is that this spiritual source of energy who we actually are is so huge and all-consuming that ultimately it doesn't matter if we get whatever our ego wants or doesn't want. The mind ego will always be wanting something that it thinks will make us happy, complete or satisfied. There is no absolute completion or ultimate satisfaction to achieve at in life, this is a never-ending eternal journey we are on which is spiraling higher and deeper towards total liberation and complete ecstasy. When we look for spiritual enlightenment with the mind, we will miss it. The desiring mind cannot find it. The mind is what creates the block the enlightened state. The mind creates desires, so that when we do get whatever our ego wants, we also are getting what we don't want as well. When any big desire is achieved, we always get both. For example, we meet our dream partner soulmate and later find out they have an annoying habit that we cannot stand, if we buy our new dream car it also comes with an insanely high monthly insurance rate and costly maintenance fees. If we discipline ourselves with daily exercise and get super strong and fit, we may only later experience becoming super stiff and tight from not integrating calming deep stretching yoga exercises as well. The weekend drinker who loves to party, always forgets about the horrible hangover experience that will painfully consume his her life the next morning. There is no single payoff from achieving any desire in this world that does not also have a cost to it. Even if we think we've found our perfect dream life, there's always going to be some perpetual feeling of the gratitude of it all, to keep your mind happy, peaceful and at a vibration that can reach an even better life next year. We all exist in the world of duality male-female, black-white, daytime-nighttime, the opposites are everywhere we can look. Spiritual enlightenment is the joyous liberating realization that the ego will always get what it focuses on, and it will never be satisfied enough. It get what it wants, and then wants more. We cannot escape from living in between these two poles that are not fully contradictory, yet rather better understood as complementary of each other. We are the rainbow spectrum in between the black and white extremes of the light. This spiritually enlightened being is at peace between both extremes. Getting and not getting. There is also total freedom of choice in each moment as to what is wanted to explore and experience. This spiritually enlightened being releases there is a chooser behind it all, who can decide to have the experience of avoiding things, clinging to ideas, or simply relax and let the natural movement of life's pendulum guide us along the way. When one is spiritually enlightened, there is a constant appreciation for life just as it is. 
It doesn't matter if the ego is getting what it wants or does not want anymore. This feeling is one of the most spiritually enlightening and liberating experiences to explore. When we realize that life is always, always, always going to deliver win-lose experience with every desire we jump after, we start to relax about the whole game and drop into something deeper inside. Initially, the first step on this egoless path can feel like apathy. The mind starts thinking what's the point of life if we always get what we want and what we don't want, and never only just the goodies. Yet, apathy also will soon fall away when we feel that the nature of desire is pure suffering not having and that finding peace with desire is the ultimate goal. Your essence, your essential unbounded joy, is so huge that it flows in every direction. Niramala Desires simply manifest them more easily when we are not attached to them in any way. The ride through life is also much more enjoyable along the way when we know the secret to being at peace with the mind and its incessant desiring seeking habit. When we understand that every single time we achieve a desire we will always get both what we want and don't want, we stop being so forceful, manipulative, and pushing our will on the world to making things flow a your way. When your spiritual enlightenment is integrated, the ego has the power of the shadow. It follows you wherever you go, yet it has no real voice over yours. It has stopped being so gritty, needy, and full of selfish demands and clingy egoic agendas. This is when real freedom happens. I find one of the best approaches to dealing with our desires is knowing that once we do get a desire manifested, we must be emotionally prepared to receive the opposing negative byproduct as well. This doesn't mean we cannot celebrate achieving anything in life and be outrageous about it. In fact, we must go fully into appreciation if we want to continue expanding our manifesting magnet power. We must let go into our greatest joyful expression, not holding back on any level, while having awareness of the knowledge that soon there will be the mysterious flip side showing up, that brings everything back to even neutral balance.